good YouTube. I'm Cosmo. Hope you're having a great day. God bless you. God is good. We get to see you another day. We actually just got to our delivery. Gotta go bust the Yui because we're gonna have to park right there. Could slide it in all around, but nah, I wanna show you guys how to back up a trailer. At this place, you have to um, slide your tandems. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that as well. So. so we're headed to spot 28. Um, it's gonna be easier right here. It's gonna be easy, but same thing. If there was a truck there, you would start cutting it here, aiming for that one. You wanna set yourself up at a 45. Like so. So where your tires align with that um, pretty good distance for where the line is at. Like so, right? And here, you wanna cut your steering wheel all the way. You can open your door if you want. Most people do this. I just always do it out the window. Like so. And then I always keep an eye out right here if there's any trailers or anything like that. So you wanna aim for that line, the white line on the floor. Look in there. And from here, you can just let it go in, post it in, and then from here, I can just keep an eye on it. Easy, you're good, and then just cut it all the way, and you're perfectly in there, no problem. And then here at this place, they want you to slide your axle, so let me show you how to do that. You wanna go ahead and, um pull on your trailer brake with this one there's a manual lever in the back so you actually have to come physically back here and pull it most new ones you can do it from inside but I don't feel like it's the same so you're gonna come here pull on this make sure all your pins are released there's another one on that side sometimes I'll get stuck and that's what you'll need a hammer, a hammer to bang them out. If, if they both pull, you don't really have to check, but just to give you guys an idea. You see the rod pulled in. So you're gonna go back inside of your truck. I always like to make sure everything is squared away too. Your, tra uh, your trailer brakes on, put it in reverse, and you hear a, a, a release sound, like a plap. That's it. Now you wanna go ahead and put it in low, or first. Do it slowly, when you hear it uh, hit, there we go. You're gonna come back out, set your parking brake, I do it at this point. Just in case you don't want it moving or anything like that, if you're on an incline. Come here. And then just lift this up. You're good. Your pins are somewhat out now. And once you move your uh, trailer and truck, you hear it click. They're in place and you're good to go. Release your uh, truck. Reverse, and you hear a click. There we go, they're locked in. Release your trailer. And 
And over here they want you to line it up. You're landing here on the cement strip, so you're good right there. Set both of your brakes. And let me show you how to drop your um how to drop a trailer as well. Come here. This one has gear, so inside is high, low. When it's like this, I do it on high. And then you can do the two finger method or the hand, whichever one you prefer. If it's hard, you do by hand. If it's a good one, you just do two fingers and you're good to go. Or you can still do the two fingers, you know, if you have, if you have the strength. It might not be as smooth, but... Uh, release some air that means it's high enough no couple red oh, I'll do the green one first blue I toss them here for now because I gotta go pick up an empty come here release your fifth wheel you've released your fifth wheel you're gonna go in your truck and what I like to do is, I like to release my brake for my truck, put it in first or low, move a bit, and then I lower my uh, landing gear just so that it doesn't have that hit on it. Once you're good, you're out. You good to go? We're gonna right now. We're just gonna head on over to pick up a empty and then to couple to an empty one. It's about the same thing, just in reverse. You're docking back slowly. Lift up your landing gear. Move your tandems if they're moved back. My, my my ADHD and my OCD would not let me line up like that. See? Coming this way. Cha-ching. Slowly. You hear like. There we go. And then you pull. You perform a pull test. And you're good to go. Put my parking brake for my truck. Turn on all my lights and my emergencies so I can also go ahead and do a quick inspection while I'm at it. It doesn't have to be 30 minutes, 15 minutes. Once you already get the hang of it, you'll see, you'll see right now. So you're gonna come here, you're green. Good. This is off the ground. Up. It's empty. This is supposed to be the empty side. So. Lift up my gear. And then from here, I actually like to release the red, the, the red one or your parking brake for your trailer, just in case there's any leaks or anything like that. You can check right now. Same thing with this one. Come here. See? This one hasn't released yet, but we'll see if we release it when we pull, we do a pull test. Cool. Nice. 
see all the lights are working. I want to check those up there too. Your license plate light. Your turn signals. There's no air leaks, you don't hear anything. You're straight, your chambers, everything. You got some spare tires. Okay. I don't even know why I smacked them. The idiot. Come here. Checking your truck, your trailer as well. Everything is good. See that one's getting blown out again. This is the time where you want to start finding anything wrong with your truck. I think this one's just having a faulty um, connection. Let's see. That small little connection right there can cause you to be put out of service if you get pulled over at a way station. mistake to put you out of service all right now that now that you checked everything you come here, you release your truck. Since you've released everything, you come here, you set your park, your trailer brake, because you want to move your tandem. You hear like a quick clack, clack, release, and you'll be able to move your own. See? Now we get to move our axles. You don't want to do it too hard. It's not a competition of the strongest. Just slowly let it clock in. I'm gonna go set it. Now we're good to go and now we're good to go and that's how you set your um that's how you um hitch unhitch from a trailer park and then also how you check how one small little detail can put you out of service so be good on that